Cheers. Cheers. Into another edition of Road Tripping. Six feet apart, yet mm -hmm. here in L.A. This I'm is, your host. This is Sprite. Allie Clifton. He is Richard Jefferson. It is not just the two of us. Our guy, 6,000 feet away. God, Channing thank Fry God. Thank God. He couldn't be any also... Couldn't be any further. Oh, yeah, look at him. Look at him. There he is. <laughs> he even's got a stage. He's even got a stage. <laughs> oh, man. Channing. We do a lot of work here. Hold on. I don't like that. He don't like. Ah, oh, here we go. He doesn't here, like, like it. Channing, Channing, we're literally live. To our viewers, Are we this is it's the day and age, oh, 2020. We, you talk about it. We talk about it all the time. This is what's going on. It's the new new. The, the new new. Are you comfortable, Channing? Is everything? Are you good? Because that looks. Oh, I'm great. The, Hold the, on. The framing of that cheers. is. Now he's great. That, cheers, cheers, Channing. We're not allowed to drink on television anymore. Oh crap. That's Channing Fry. Road <laughs> is back. Uh, but we're really excited about this edition, this episode. For those of you that watch Spectrum Sportsnet, you know her. For those of you that watch the WNBA, yes. you know her. Or Here as I like to say, Chene Agumake dominates the media world. I'm going to say it. She's one of my heroes. Women. She's one of my idols. Chene. No, why, do you, why are you lying to people already, Richard? <laughs> Always say it like, Chene, what's it? What's this interview? Oh, Chanae, come on, bro. Yo, yo, wow. I love this. Wow, girl. this is what I'm going to say. Look, I've given Chanae, I was just, I did a, I did a, uh, uh, an Instagram on SportsCenter, and I give Chanae all the credit. I give her all the credit. Because she and Chanae. For what? Because you invited me on at the beginning of quarantine. You go, hey, come on this ESPN thing on the ESPN Instagram and chop it up and with me. And y'all know what happened after that? It's Sports Center with Richard Jefferson. Uh, no, no, <laughs> no, no. Okay. I got my own radio show. Yes, right. Ooh. Yes, Ooh. exactly. Are we there? Are we well? Chene, and can we cheers to you for that? Cheers, yeah. cheers. And right no, now, that's, that's not how it went down. That's not how it went down. First of all, congratulations on your radio show. That's awesome. <laughs> what happened was, what ha happened was. What is, happened? <laughs> so she was on, we, she, I would get on ESPN and we do the little thing. So I get off and I tell uh, our producer, Kayla, I'm like, Kayla, that was awesome. I can get some of my guys like, you know, Kevin or Channing and I can do it. But and, and these were my exact words today. I go, but if this is Chanae's thing, then I, I, I don't need I, like I'm good. And she was like, no, Chanae can do ESPN. You can do Sports Center." So then I, I was like, all right, cool. She's got ESPN. I got Sports Center, And so then that's when I started doing the Sports Center Instagrams. So I give you it's credit. It's okay. It's okay. That's the truth. That is true. There I'll we just go. throw him a little bit of shade. But it's at the okay. end of the day, Kayla's my best friend and not yours. So. Oh, it's fat. No? You can keep her. You can keep her and tell oh, her I said that. I will. You can keep they, her and tell her. quick texting her. No, she's one of the best producers ever. <laughs> of all time. ESPN. Of all time. We're all a family. Kayla's a legend. Uh, she's been so like it wouldn't if it wasn't for that if it wasn't for her I wouldn't be able to do the Sports Center IG. Same here. And you got but this is the thing I'm over here still doing I still doing IGs and you're hosting like a prime time radio show. Like wait what what I don't know I don't thank, I don't get thank it. Thank you for freeing up my time, Richard. I appreciate it. <laughs> Again, like I said, Chanae is dominating the media space in the sports world. Yeah, I know it because it is, Channing's running Twitter NBA Twitter with Turner. You're running Sports Center IG, I'm, and I'm she's like doing, legit running the sports world. <laughs> running the sports world. Uh, Ch Chine, I, I just don't understand how <laughs> I'm over here trying to like get the grind, and they give you a radio show. I know you're better than me, but they don't have to like put it in our faces, right? It's like well, you, I, you, I you, you won championships. You, I have not. Uh, so that's the difference, you know. So at least you have some wins. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Let's, let's actually just go there today. He, How... he didn't win until I got there. Oh. 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 That's <laughs> <laughs> exactly what I'm talking about. Chanae, do you you know about their relationship, right? Absolutely. Or lack thereof. Lack thereof. <laughs> yeah. Yes. No, it, it was honestly, honestly, it was the motivation <laughs> to win really, truly came from having to carry Channing. Right. It was like it was like, you know, how like when a mom gets like superhuman strength and can like lift a, like a car off a baby. Like, that's what I felt <laughs> like when Janet came on the team. I just got like this dad super strength and that really helped. That was it. So I appreciate it. No, no. What happened was Richard <laughs> saw that I was going to take all his minutes 
And it sort of pushed him. And so we made each other better. But at the end, over three in finals until I got there. Uh, no, it was 0 for 2, and then we went 0 for 2, or we went 1 for 2 together, jerk. How does, yeah, how does Bron fit in all that of this one. since Bron the two of is you are carrying one another? Bron is inconsequential in this. Bron had nothing to do with our championship. Yeah. I, I've been saying this for years. Like, we carried him. We carried him. Yes. Like, dude, he didn't have to do anything the first three rounds. Yo, yo, how good would, <laughs> how good would Giannis look without shooters around him? He would look like trash. Right, oh, right. They, they pack the paint. That's a hot take. Chanae, here's He's your, yeah, here's your you. hot take gonna... for you and uh, Michael Luck Jr. tomorrow on ESPN Radio. There's Look, he take. just provides the great content for us to just flip it and turn it around and try to make it a pot everywhere else. Thanks, Richard. <laughs> I, I, I'm going to say this, but nobody has provided better content in the last six months than Channing. Channing provided six months of great content with his hot take on, on Michael Jordan. So well, he's not that, that might be true. Time. What, Channing? Michael Jordan's not the greatest of all time. Who is the greatest of all time, Channing? I don't think there's one player. But I think of our generation. I think it's LeBron. Okay, and what about the generation right before? I would have to say Kobe. What about the generation before that? Ooh. <laughs> then you start to get to Jordan. Then you get to Jordan. It's okay, Chene. It's okay, Chene. Like Kareem. Yeah. Where, did Magic, was it Magic ever up there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Magic, Kareem. <laughs> Chene, your thoughts? I plead the fifth. I plead. <laughs> Chene, that is wise what? because the stands show up pretty heavily and very quickly. They show up. I would and say they... I'm too young. I'm too young to know. Yeah, who? Wait, wait, wait. That but is Chine amazing. Yeah, that is I am too young to too know. Young. Okay, but Chanae, how old are you? 28. You're 28. Don't look Ooh. sideways. Don't look sideways like, am I really going to tell this man on TV how old I am? There's a thing called Google. See, before, Ooh. like, they, you you didn't have, you. Could, it was hard to find out people's ages. Now it's like, you literally can just find out someone's birthday, favorite food, favorite restaurant it's in easy. like eight seconds. I'm just going to let you know when I first worked with Chanae here at Spectrum Sportsnet, I like Googled everything about her. Did you? That night. I was like, I love this woman. She's amazing. She's so much fun. And I wanted to know everything about you. So that's how I know she's 28. So we've had a blast. <laughs> but you guys are the real MVPs because working that show, man, it's a, it's a marathon. It is a marathon. Yeah. Oh, speaking of marathon, like this, what we do here is a marathon to actually like the, 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 I'm actually think that we're going to be more productive with Channing not here. <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> I, think this, I think this is a far more productive show. Easily. You probably could be way more sober, too. <laughs> uh, Channing, we don't drink anymore on this show. So, yeah, yes, you're I correct. Said, anymore. The last time, can we actually get into it as we all take a sip? The last time I actually saw <laughs> Chanae celebrate, which I find this to be incredibly um, one of the coolest things out there. Let's just put it that way is when your younger sister, Chanae, was drafted to the WNBA. Yes. And you guys were celebrating. Of course, it was during quarantine, but now all three Agumake sisters, I know you're taking the season off, uh, but are in the WNBA. Dang. Congratulations. I know. It was, it was crazy because she's the youngest, so there's four of us. I'm number two. You know, second, second born children, we get to act up, have a good time, you know what I'm saying? And so there's four of us, and she's the baby, Erica. And so Erica has sort of been doing her own thing alongside Olivia, who both played basketball at Rice University, and they were super successful. Rock Conference USA, you know, Rice University into the tournament. They were likely to be in the tournament again, and, um, you know, and so they didn't get to play in the March Madness due to the pandemic, obviously. So we were like, okay, what's gonna happen now? Like, are you on the radar? She's always planning on going to medical school. And so now we're in a position working because I'm um, vice president of the WMBPA, NECA is president. A little nepotism, but guess what? We barely, <laughs> like, barely like it. <laughs> and so we went from negotiating a great CBA for the WMBA. Yes, she did. To figuring out moving forward, like how are we going to build towards a virtual draft knowing that coronavirus and also a, a season, you know, in a bubble. And so in the middle of it, we're like, oh, there's rumblings that baby Erin Ma, that's her name, that's her, you know, I'm Chanae, but y'all call me Chanae. Uh, there's Nemkadi, there's Tisong, and Erin Ma, so that's Erica. And we're like, whoa, there's rumblings while we're talking about this virtual draft that Erin Ma 
is going to get drafted. Like, she's a baller. And I always tell everyone, out of all four of us, she is the one that is the most skilled. The only thing is, she's the shortest. <laughs> she's like 5'8". So there were rumblings, and then next thing you know, we started realizing, oh, my gosh, like, she's probably going to get drafted now. So we had this whole, like, we were celebrating. We're at our family home. We're like, oh, my gosh, New York, New York. And then it was like, we come back from commercial. You know, we're all turning up. I'm on IG Live, you know. And then next thing you know, it's like Ryan Russell goes, and now and we just found out Erica Brooke is getting dealt to Minnesota. We're like, whoa. whoa. And Minnesota has a huge rivalry with the Sparks. And Naka and I are on the Sparks. And so we're like, whoa, this is getting too real, too fast. But it was a really special moment for our family. We thought that, like, because of the virtual nature of the draft, it might feel different for those draftees. But being at home and still having the draft was just, like, a beautiful thing, especially seeing your little sister who was like, y'all know how it is, the baby of the family. You're like, ah, oh, you know, what are they doing? And then they mess around and get to the league. So it's been <laughs> And they yeah, mess the, around and yeah, get to the league. Yeah, not many families, like, mess around and have their youngest sibling make it to the league with the older two siblings. <laughs> it's like you, the Holiday Brothers. Uh, yeah, there's very Ante few. Yeah, the Ante yep. Tecumpos. Up next on Road Trippin'. 20 of my friends from yeah, Phoenix. But they, Channing's crew is <laughs> trash. You know, the funny thing is, like, so Channing's draft, Channing's draft, Channing, you remember your draft, bud? You remember your yeah. draft? <laughs> what? What happened? Wait, you don't know that story? Uh, no. So Channing. Oh, I'm still hungover. <laughs> <laughs> so so Ch I was playing in New York. I was playing for, for Jersey. Channing uh, is somehow, by the by the power of Grayskull, Channing is in, like, supposed to be a lottery pick. So this dude, so we're sitting there, Channing comes into town, and I'm like, Channing, I got you. I got New York. I know where we're going to go. All of our boys, Luke Walton, Jason Gardner, all of our boys fly out to New York because they can stay at my house. I had 20 of my friends from yeah, Phoenix. But, they, but Channing had a trash Ooh. crew. Ch Channing's crew is trash. He's laughing because he knows it. He hangs out with like I one of them dudes very, now. At the time, you know, we had some glow ups, right? We had some glow ups. Look, he I had some very 365 friends, right? Not the regular Whole Food brand. I had the 365 brand. So yeah, so he had, he yeah, had oh yeah. Channing had a trash crew. So we're like, wrong Channing, we're gonna, we're gonna send your friends on a tour of Times Square. You're gonna come with us, right? So 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 Channing, right? So Channing, and I'm like, Channing, dude, they have you going like top 10. Like, you could go to New York. I'm like, Channing, if you go to New York, this is going to get real weird. He so, didn't know I already had a guarantee to go to New York. Yeah, yeah, so but, but yeah, but you, you, know how that NBA, you, you know how that NBA stuff goes. Yeah, yeah. It's true. So Channing gets drafted, you know, whatever number. I don't know who cares. Channing eight. gets drafted. Yes. Don't worry it, about that. Eight? They, tra <laughs> they traded you two years later. Relax. So right. he gets drafted. That's all right. And we you go, got the same we go, we go out, out. I'm talking about like all the way out. But what we keep doing to Channing over the entire weekend, over the entire weekend, we're like Channing, just give us your credit card. Don't worry, it's gonna be fine. I when I oh this dude, this dude's obsessed. What obnoxious. were you saying? How many times I get tricked? Two times, two times. <laughs> You can Chene, so, put them back. Wait, in no, Chene, Chene. So this is what he happened. Really, just well, put I, on his championship I, I'm trying. I'm trying to express to you, Chene, what happened. So Channing, it's, <laughs> it's upside, upside down. 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 <laughs> I, I feel like Chene is gonna go bring back something. Anyways, I'm I'm oh, here we Nervous. go. Here we go. Here we go. She so I got 57 trophies. I already know. So after the after like the second club, after the second club. Channing's credit card gets denied because we kept saying like Channing's gonna be fine. I don't know if this thing's gonna go. I was like Channing, don't worry. We're just gonna do it because like basically whenever you sign a big contract or whenever you get drafted, you're paying for everything. I know I'm in the league. I know Luke is in the league, but you're paying for tonight. And I'm talking about it was like 20 or 30 of us in New York City. The bar tab was like 10 grand. 
right? Mainly because Chan, mainly because of Channing's trash crew. And after like the second club, like Channing, no, it's gonna be fine. That thing swiped and it said declined, <laughs> declined. <laughs> right, because the- I'm a college kid, right? I go to dive bars where the bill might be 200 bucks, right? And so all of a sudden, I, you know, I've never been to a club where I actually had to put my card down. So they're just like, oh, we're just gonna hold it. So I was like, yeah, you're going to hold it. And that thing ain't going through. And they tried to swipe, they tried to swipe that thing. I said, give it on back. <laughs> sometimes the best nights happen with trash crews. But the problem is those have to be like one hit wonder. No, you know no, I mean? no. That, that was his. The, our entire group of, our entire group of friends was always like, yo, should we invite Channing? And then like the group would be like, yeah, but Channing's going to bring his friends. <laughs> <laughs> I tried to bring yeah. my ring. This is the closest Ooh. thing I could get. Ooh. Oh, it's so, so tiny. Ooh. I have three of these from the final four. Don't look oh, at my nails. Crazy. Here we go. Channing, tell us about your final four experience. <laughs> yeah, no. First of all, <laughs> Channing. Tell us about your final four. Did Let's, you get- Richard, did you get invited to the green room for lottery picks or no? No, I was a lottery pick, though. Were you? 14 well, you, is an auxiliary lottery pick. Uh, the 13, it's weird because, you know, like I went to the finals my rookie year, but I understand being in the lottery you, the Jason next Kidd. year. Yeah, Thank yeah. You, Jason he, Kidd. Yeah, it's, well, not like, did, it's not like he scored 40. He had to pass it to somebody else to score. <laughs> Thank you, Karen Kittles and Kenyon Martin. Yeah. <laughs> Don't laugh at that. I'm not, I'm, not here, I'm not here trying to overflex you guys, but, you know, as a number no, one pick. No, please, please. Thank you. Thank you. Here we go. I had my draft at my arena. What? Thank you. Shanae, Shanae, right. there she is. She literally just said, I'm not trying to flex on y'all. Shanae, Shanae. But I'm the number one pick. Shanae, we all have scrapbooks, right? We all have scrapbooks. And we acknowledge that. There, I don't know if we've ever had a guest on here that wasn't better than the than the than the three of us. <laughs> we well, sure. You can one thousand. I am yeah. hyping her up. Yeah, I'm saying yeah, right? we sure. acknowledge that she is by Look, far I, a I much better athlete. I have yet to win a championship. I have yet to win a championship in the pros. So okay, okay, okay. I give kudos to you guys. Those are the goals that I would like to achieve. But yes, the rest has been I might have on you guys. Just just well, I, I just, just, so, so then why did you why did you bit. why did you decide to retire? Well, I didn't decide to retire. I just pressed pause. <laughs> I pressed pause when I'm playing this season just because a lot of people don't know. I've had two major injuries. I've had right knee microfracture surgery, left Achilles Ooh. surgery. Ooh. And so when it comes to, yeah, I know. I don't really let people know all the layers behind, like, my whole comeback seasons. with are onion. Start adding, to the res- adding to the resume, comeback player of the year. You can add that there. Um, but, like... <laughs> What, what happened Damn. was the one way to return to play was too hard, you know? Yeah. Usually it takes me three months to get ready for the season coming back from those injuries. We had, like, two weeks in our home markets and then two weeks in the bubble. And I just, everyone just said, Sinead, you've already, like, beat so many odds. Like, just sit the season out. And I was sick because all I want to do is win a championship with my Sparks. And we really can do it this year, even if I'm not there. They can still do it. Like, Candace Parker's balling. My sister's balling. Um, you know, we have Simone Augustus now. Can you – can you – can you huh? get a participation if they win? Can you get a participation ring like Channing? I'm I'm planning. <laughs> look, no one, no one, no one knows this, but I'm planning to find a way to finesse my way into the bubble, like for the playoffs. Oh. So okay, like, okay. Yeah. I, you know what I mean? I mean, whether it's to cheer on my sister or whatever the case may be, but realistically, like I had to press pause on the season, and everyone was like in support of it, including Derek Fisher, our coach. In our entire organization because they're like, Sinead, you've overcome so many odds when it comes to on the court. We don't want you to jeopardize your health. So just opt out. Oh. And so th- thanks, Kyrie. <laughs> <laughs> no, but real talk, real talk. Shout out Kyrie because that Kyrie donated, you know, you know, over a million dollars to help fund yeah. uh, a lot of the WNBA players that uh, decided to sit out for a variety of reasons, whether it's health concerns, whether it's it was to focus on, um, you know, social injustice or whatever, whatever cause yeah. that they wanted to. Uh, and a lot of people always say, like, you know, you people talk a big game, but when you put your money where your mouth is, and there's been tons of yep. athletes, it's, you know, Kevin Love, DeMar DeRozan, LeBron James, there's been so many athletes that have stepped up, uh, you know, and really fought for different causes. And so, yeah, you're right. Shout out Kyrie. Good job, Kyrie. Today we're going to have all the jokes and all the fun and moments on this episode, but I think... 
to that point, how tough was it for you to decide? Because even when you made your statement that you were going to put the season on hold for yourself, you didn't specify what you just shared with us and how obviously severe those injuries were. But then also to find that balance of still using your voice and using your platform and be in the forefront of so much, uh, though you really do want to be in the, the bubble with your team in the spark. Yeah, it comes with this year and I was really excited to now, like I have my one season under my belt, transitioning to a new team, no matter how good you are, like it is, it is tough, even when your sister's on the team. And so I was like, okay, going in with the spirit of like, look, you know, I've been trying my best to train in this pandemic. Our whole family was in Houston throughout the pandemic. We're trying our best to find creative ways to train. But for me, like, you have to have the doctors, you have to have the access, you have to have the therapist, uh, just because of my injury history, you know? And opting out was like heartbreaking just because I was so excited to try to have that experience with NECA this season. But this is why I think sometimes every disappointment could be a blessing because by opting out, I think having a partner, you know, on broadcast that said, hey, you're not gonna be playing this, you know, this season, we understand that, but we also wanna amplify your voice because, you know, that's when we're seeing right now, like the value of others in times that we probably wouldn't notice it due to this pandemic. We're looking to our left and we're looking to our right and we're seeing each other in real time sort of for the first time. And so elevating my voice is not just like elevating me, it's elevating women, black women, young people, millennials. And now with my ability to like be out of the bubble, which I thought was like the worst thing ever at first, now it's like, wow, I feel blessed because I'm in a position to amplify the voices of the WNBA players, amplify the stories of people that normally don't get seen. They're sort of hidden in plain sight, you know? And so that's why I feel really grateful for this radio gig. And Richard, Channing, you two, Ali, all y'all invited. I'm actually going to start blasting y'all up in the group Yale, chat. Yale, 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 Yale. No, no, Richard no. has a face for radio. Uh, no, no. You <laughs> got, Chan, 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 Channing's got the breath for radio. That's what you got, Channing. You got the breath Boo. for radio. Boo. Bad joke. Bad Boo. joke. This is, Bad why, this joke. is why she was given the Dog. opportunity. Up next on Road Trippin'. We were negotiating for black women who were now being put front and center. Is Herbert still alive, Channing? No. Is Herbert live? No, no. You would lie. Yeah, show the rest. Where's Herbert? Herbert's still there. Did no. Herbert create a scar? Can you guys can you guys introduce Herbert to oh, Chanae? Channing, I don't know if you guys have ever seen Family Guy, but uh, at one point in time in Family Guy, Chris decided to name his pimple. <laughs> And Channing had a crater on his face. And so he named, it, stress. he named it Herbert. He named his pimple Herbert. And I just saw Channing pan to the left. And I saw Herbert still there like weeks later. Chanae, dog, you got to start exfoliating, dog. Chanae, did you see how they decided to take that conversation there when they realized there is a reason why ESPN put a microphone in front of Chanae for three hours a day, five days a week? ESPN. Because we can stay on subject. Yes. yes. No, like you don't come to us for like on topic conversations. Like you come to us, like we start talking and it's like, yo, did you see that bird? It's like, dude, we're in a studio, there's not a bird. Oh my bad, that's just light. Okay, yeah, so so back to the NBA finals. Like they they know that's not what we're here I for. I just meant because of what she said actually was really powerful and really strong. And it was a mic drop moment. And in the in the meantime, she invited you on her show. Yeah, I'm but, but, that's, but you that's, like the, that's like the uninvite. Like it's just like, <laughs> I'm kind of inviting you guys because, like, you're on here, but you don't really want us, Chanae, because there is no there is no topic that you can truly give us that makes Look, sense because we just say I stupid want stuff. I trying to act like the biggest tough guy in front of everyone when the cameras are rolling, but we all know you soft on the inside, bro. Come tender. on now. Tender, tender, soft like a mushy tender, apple. Tenderoni. You tender, apple. bro. Soft like a soft like a tender apple. He said a mushy apple. <laughs> a mushy apple. <laughs> Like okay. a rotten apple. I got some topics before, because we are going to get into the NBA. We have to get into the NBA just a little bit. But before, I want to know your thoughts on the WNBA, Chanae, at this point. You talked about it. Candace, NECA, your sister, the Sparks, uh, what they're doing right now in the wobble. What? But what are you thinking about the, the WNBA right now? 
I think it's amazing. First of all, I'm glad because technically, like when basketball came back, the ladies went first, right? And so it was just really cool to see. It felt like a miracle that basketball was out there because, like, knowing the process to even get basketball there was just so tedious because we're, I'm talking about a league that is full predominantly of black women, 80%. And we were negotiating, you know, a bubble for black women who were now being put front and center to so many discussions and certain things come up like value and also coverage and exposure and doing things right. So like the pressure was on. So now to see the bubble and to see the quality of basketball in the bubble in both bubbles, the NBA bubble and the bubble, to me it feels like a miracle because it was such a long process. And I think, you know, it was great that the league paid players 100%. Even yeah. though it's like a, a less amount of games, even though the games are like, oh, pretty much back to back. Let's do it. So I think it's been great. You know, the basketball's been great. You know, I'm talking about my comeback. Let's talk about Brianna Stewart, who, you know, mm -hmm. obviously for the Seattle Storm is coming off of an Achilles, but now is like Storm, our number one in the standings. Um, we've had fun, you know, even in a small sample size, seeing what Sabrina Yunus can do. She in game two had like 33 points, but then there's other rookies that are both. Kennedy Carter, Sachi Sabali. Like it's just been fun. And then there's a new big three in Phoenix with Diana, Brittany Griner, and Skylar Diggins. So, like, the quality of basketball has been great. So, the WNBA, I, you know, that's the thing. There are a lot of misconceptions about our league because people don't take the time to understand it. And I think the people here get it, but it's like, tell your friends to give us a try. Because once you do, you're like, oh, like, it's funny. I always tell this story about, like, last year I was playing – in New York, and Donovan Mitchell came to the game. I actually hosted an event the night before for Adidas, because we're all team Adidas, involving Donovan. And then at that event, which was really cool, I got invited up to a private room where they unveiled to Donovan his first shoe. It was one of those things where it's like, oh, like you there? It's like, oh, yeah, yeah, come on, you family, come on in. And I was sitting like right behind his sister and his mom, and I was like, oh, this is an amazing moment. So the next day, he comes, because he's from Connecticut, I think? And so the next day he comes to our game against the New York Liberty. And after the game, he was like, yo. And I was like, what? He was like, yo. I was like, Donovan, what? Speak English. <laughs> and he was like, I didn't know, like, you go that hard, though. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, what are you talking about? Like, if you know me from Stanford, like, Hey, pack twelve in the house for pack twelve. Respect, in the back ra respect. Don't, 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 don't listen. Don't yeah, just, just say pack. Just say the pack. Just say we back the pack. Okay. okay. If you put on me from Stanford, like I'm a banger. Like I'm a grinder. Like I'll get in the paint. <laughs> I'll take the contact. So like everyone in the league knows, like I'm running to the rim and ducking in and like you know and one a son, right? Like that's my go-to. I'm like it hey, was And so like <laughs> on like ESPN or hosting or like, you know, with the hair and the makeup, like he doesn't see me on the court. And so he's like, yo, like, you're not even one of the biggest though, but you in the mix. I was like, yeah, bro, I'm a lightweight, but I'm just like trying to fake flex, you know, hold it down. <laughs> and so it's funny because his energy completely shifts after he was there at the game. He was there supporting Asia Durr in Louisville, um, their Louisville connection. But like, to me, that's the essence of the WNBA. A lot of people don't get it until they see it up front and center. But until you can get up front and center, because we're in a pandemic, there are no fans. It's like give it a try because the ladies always deliver. Um, so yeah, it's been great seeing basketball being back, and I'm really proud of the WNBA. Not just for that, but also for being at the forefront of social justice. Right? Like they've been doing this consistently, and we've been doing it without the coverage. Whether it goes back to Minnesota Times with Philando Castile, what Maya Moore has done, you know, leaving the WNBA. People didn't know she left in the middle of her prime to fight against the wrongful conviction of Jonathan Irons, who she literally helped free 20 or so years later. So, like, damn. that's who the WNBA... You're like, people didn't know, and Channing's over there like, damn, really? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, like but that's stuff the whole point. Day. Like, yeah. uh, that's what I was Give it a try because if you do, you'll stumble on something, Don't. someone that you'll like, you'll come to love. And that's the nature of the W. So it's Wait. been cool to be a part, of, even though I'm outside of it right now. Up next on Road Trippin'. People were talking out of pocket about Kaku, <laughs> but those same accounts are now like, cool. <laughs>
is Maya Moore, because she did focus on this, is Maya Moore, like, what, what, what's her story? Like, is she... She's always cared. Like, you know, she's she's been, you know, growing up, like, we all knew Maya from Georgia. And so, like, Georgia has been, you know, for some points at the center of election, right? Like, with the issues that they're facing and also just community. She has, like, a religious background. And so we all knew Maya was... You know how, like, you guys go in pregame? Like, there are people that lead chapel, yeah. you know, pregame chapel. Like, Maya is the one that has chapel on point for, like, anytime you go to Minnesota and just in the league in general. Crazy thing is, is, like, that's secondary to Hoop. And she's literally, like, one of the greatest of all time at Hoop. So when she leaves in her prime, like, of course, us in the WNBA know because we're, like, going up against Minnesota without Maya. We're like, whoo, all right. Got <laughs> <laughs> but, like, at the same time, we're like, wow, she's, like, walked in this journey and sort of left in her prime, which is a huge sacrifice. But then now we're seeing why, and now society is recognizing why. So it's been a beautiful thing. But like, there's so many stories like that in the W uh, um, that go unseen. But you know, you gotta watch the game to learn the players Wait. to understand. Yeah, but is Maya coming back? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> everybody's, like, everybody's like, everybody's like, it's weird. <laughs> I, 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 Here's I the who. thing, though. Maya it, could not return, and you'd still know Maya for everything you needed yes, to know Maya. For. Yes, yeah. Like, the, the, that's the beautiful that'd be like part about her. That'd be like if Dame Let's Lillard, Dame Let's Lillard, just be like, "Yo, I'm out today." Like you, you can't erase what this person has accomplished or what they've meant to the sport. But ultimately, like, there's two sides to it. Like Maya. You know, I look, I went to the Athletes in Action in Colorado Springs also. I did that, saw Maya Moore there. I actually, I, I, I went when I was in college and then went back and spoke when Maya was there. I think she was in college at the time or, or it was shortly thereafter. But it was like, for an individual like that, you're like, well, okay, so she decided to retire, not retire, but take a step away to help um, free uh, this individual, but now this individual is freed. So I was like, Maya, are you going to continue <laughs> on this path or are you going to come back and help grow the game? But well, Yeah, I well, think... she doesn't need to grow the game. She already held it down. Yeah. But I have a question. <laughs> Since we're on religion, did we already discuss how Kuzma and how he said he was going to cross up? Like, That's the, the, right. Right. No, no, First no. Point. We're not. <laughs> We're not. Do you see what KD like, said? Let, listen, yeah, <laughs> I, I, I'm taking Jesus Christ too, KD. Yeah, I'm with you, Kevin Durant. Jesus, Since we're I got talking Jesus about religion. Stopped. Yeah, like, <laughs> like, like he said, but this is what he said. This is what he said, though, in real talk, real talk. And this is where I'll, I'll kind of defend him. It was and, my question, so let me make sure you get it right. This is he Go. said. Ooh. He said, I don't care if it's Jesus Christ in front of me. I'm probably still Jesus. gonna <laughs> Jesus in front of me. I'm still gonna shoot it. He didn't say make it. He didn't say not get his block. He just said shoot it. Too, because that blew up, and I, I talked to you about this. I felt bad. I thought to myself, did I, did I put him in a bad position? No. Yes. But at the same no. time, oh, Janae, I know wait, you love Allie, that was your question? <laughs> Blame Allie. Blame Allie. Girl. Look, but girl, that's girl, seven take two, it the wrong way. That's it, seven it two bull ball. Who? Seven eight wingspan coming at you. It's a tie game. What you are you don't talking about? That, that's a great a question. That's a great question. Yeah, so my point was that like is that a was great question. Okay, thank you. That was, that my, was a great that question. Was my process. But then I guess I have to remember, like, that just shows you Kuz's confidence. We talk about it all the time on Spectrum. Even when you're here today, it never wavers. Like he no, it doesn't. That you. Shot it, it, and it, still it, gave that And answer. that's why I love Kuzma. It doesn't matter how all of the proof and the stats show you that you shouldn't be that confident. You still are. <laughs> Channing, Channing, you're, you shoot threes. You shot threes uh, yeah, most of I'm your career. I'm seven foot, though. It's different, right? But it's like, still nobody's a seven, eight. My shot. No, 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 uh, no, 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 Kyle Kuzma. No. But that's what I'm saying. Six, seven. But Jesus that's why Kyle Kuzma down. is – shout out to Kyle Kuzma. That's why Kyle Kuzma is so special because – you know, you, you. <laughs> you have to have that internal confidence. Like, even when the world is telling you that you're wrong, you still show up. <laughs> I love when Shanae was like, I need to see everyone's hype on Twitter from a week ago when they were talking about Kuz. I need to see That was right my now. tweet. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Because yeah, yeah. when them, them exhibition games started, people were talking out of pocket about Kyle Kuz, but those <laughs> same accounts are now like, Kuz, yeah. I'm like, nah, oh. nah, 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 nah. You don't buy it. You don't buy it. Hey, I will say this. This is the one thing. This is the one critique I have of the of the bubble. The one critique. 
I believe that the NBA kind of messed up. They should have made these games count towards the awards because you had teams like the Lakers, you have teams like the Bucks. They were pretty much locked into their spot. So they were just showing up with three, three preseason games, eight regular season games. But ultimately, they were just waiting for the postseason. I, that's a long, that's a long stretch. But at least if, if Giannis or Braun, if they no, knew, if they no. knew, wait, wait, let me no. finish. <laughs> If they knew no. that they were going to count towards, like, at least votes, <laughs> then they would have something no. to play for. We've got a whole new set of awards because of the bubble. We've got the bubble awards. Now we can talk yeah, about, man. like, the most valuable the, the, the bubble, bubble awards ain't helping no legacies. It's eight games. You shouldn't use the sample size to dictate your awards because we didn't know exactly what we'd get ourselves into. We could have walked into a bubble where people are all having lemon pepper experiences and then there's coronavirus <laughs> tests and nothing happens. You know what I'm saying? So there were Those so many different doing. factors. <laughs> <laughs> but, but 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 the factor but but the factors were all the same though. That's my thing. Everyone had the same layoff. Everyone came back with the exact same prep. Your start these points, all of these points count towards your regular season points. All of these 61 point the 61 points that Dame Lillard did, that counts towards like his total. Like no NBA but, player has had it since like him and Wilt have had three well, sixty point games. Well, you're forgetting like the teams that didn't even make the. Bubble. We don't care about them. You know they weren't in the conversation. <laughs> anyway okay so that's where this conversation is drifting I can't believe you guys allow Channing to get off on the fact that he just said I heard those lemon pepper wings <laughs> <laughs> Allie you're not supposed to listen when I talk I mean I, I love today's point but I, I'm they sorry Yelp reviews. oh they do they do okay, you heard <laughs> Yeah, they make them fresh. That was that that was just my thing. I only say that because we look at the we look at the Lakers and they struggled in the regular season of this quote unquote regular season. Even Milwaukee, you know, Giannis is bored. He's headbutting people. Where'd the right? Lakers struggle during the regular season? No, this 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 portion. The little bubble regular season. They, well, yeah, Eight but, games yeah. when you started this conversation. I said they this. Didn't have I said to play for? when I say struggle, that means that they did not play at the level that they expect themselves. Like people are questioning. People are literally questioning. Okay, well, you two are former NBA athletes and I was going to ask you this would it be hard for you guys to gear up for a bubble experience one and two if you were a part of the Lakers understanding the position that they were in would you have been okay with the play all I'm saying is I'm just this, asking the question my only que my only statement is this if they had something to fight for even if it was an individual award for their teammate there is no home court advantage, so no one is fighting for home court advantage. But if guys can still go out there and, like, let's say there was a John Morant versus Zion Williamson battle for Rookie of the Year. Let's say there, there was a most improved battle. Let's say Rudy Gobert could be out there battling to prove that he could be defensive player of the year. Let's say Braun and Giannis were still battling it out to prove who the MVP was. I think that would have improved the quality of these games because both of those teams are slotted at number one, but home court does advantage. Doesn't matter. So they're kind of just coasting until you get to the postseason when stuff actually but counts. But we see people coasting every year because towards the end of the season, they start saying, all right, we locked into our positions that you're not playing this night. So sometimes that is even written before the bubble. But but you were wanted to you if you wanted home court, if you wanted home court advantage or best number one overall. So if the Lakers and, and Milwaukee were both battling for overall number one, right, the overall number the bubble, one. Boy. I, I know that's what I'm saying, oh though. You would have incentivized them to play for individual awards, maybe not team stuff. That's what I'm saying. You took away the team and you took away the home court advantage. So some of these top teams weren't incentivized to really play to their maximum capability over these 11 games. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, I, I hear you. I just think that people are naturally not incentivized toward the end of the season when their positions are locked in the playoffs, too. And so you're correct. Too. You're Let's correct. Up next on Road Trippin'. Get it together. Get it together. Get it together. I want your I want your picks and then your overall pick. Are we ready? Channing, you go first. Okay. Your MVP. For what? Uh, LeBron. Your defensive player of the year. AD. Your rookie of the year. John Morant. Your coach of the year. Uh, nurse. Your most improved. Uh, bam. Ooh. Ooh. And your sixth man. Dennis Schroeder. Dennis Schroeder. Wow, okay. Who? 
Dennis Schroeder? Dennis Schroeder from OKC. No, I didn't Remember hear that you. Team, everyone not... picked 12th? Yeah, yeah, but you, you know, is that why they? Is that why he's up? Uh, okay, never mind. All right, so Channing has two awards coming to the Lakers. Yeah, MVP and Defensive Player of the Year. Chanae. Gobert and Giannis. Okay, no, go I got down, you. Go down. I got you, Richard. Uh, who do I think deserves it? No, LeBron James. Who do I think is going to win it? Giannis. Your right. MVP. Okay, there we go. Uh, Your MVP is who? I, I, for me personally, I think the the most valuable player is LeBron James. Okay, your Defensive Player of the Year. I would give that to Giannis. Your <laughs> sixth man of the year. Uh, my sixth man of the year. Uh, I'm I'm actually okay with Schroeder. Your most improved. My most improved. Ooh, that's people tough. say no. Devonte like Graham. Devonte Graham. Devonte oh, Graham. Not on the list. Yeah. Why? And who's not on the list? But he should have been. Yes. And he your, should have been. And your coach For of the sure. year. For sure. And, coach of, the, and coach of the year is Nick Nurse. And Nick Nurse. Nick Nurse. All right, Janae. Your MVP. I love you. <laughs> She's so proud. No. Don't put your hand on your hips. Go. <laughs> My MVP, Giannis will win it, but I think it's LeBron at 35. It's LeBron. Right. All right. Defensive player of the year. Giannis. Your sixth man. Schroeder. Your most improved. I'm Nigerian. Bam out of bio. <laughs> Bam out of bio. And your coach of the year. Nick Nurse. Nick Nurse. All right. Your champion this year will be. Y'all first. <laughs> <laughs> That's, I got it. The champion this year will be the Los Angeles Clippers. Channing. <laughs> That's going to cause some problems in this building. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Man. Yeah, I got to. Uh, you know what? Grow I'll a pair. It. Just I'm grow a, s- a pair and say an answer. <laughs> I'm I, you you hear today last? Did you Ooh, hear today last? You're going with Chuck. You're going with who? He's going the with Portland Chuck. Trailblazers. Are going to what? They're going to win. win. You're in. Win what? Win the whole thing. You out your damn Chine? mind. You you tripping. Hey, put some respect on his name. <laughs> put some respect, put some respect on, his on his name. He gonna win it. He gonna hey, win listen. it. Janae, who he, you rolling with? You were, no, Chang Chang. As your brother, as your brother, to, to avoid. I know you're in Portland, <laughs> but you, like, I want you to give me a real answer. Give us a real <laughs> answer. Not yeah, who you I'm want, who you, but you really believe that the Portland Trailblazers are going to win an NBA championship. Here's why I think they Chine? will. She said she agrees. Number one, I think the Lakers can beat everyone else in the West, but I think the Blazers have the best chance of beating the Lakers. And you think that then they're going to continue that and they're going to beat the Clippers and they're going to beat whoever else and ultimately yes. beat Milwaukee. You're out. What's the bet? Can we have a bet? No, it's, we're just talking. This no, is that's not, no, 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 no. You don't get to just say <laughs> I'm something. I'm going to on this bet. Yeah, yeah, I, I got, I got $1,000 that say they don't even make it to the conference finals. I don't even talk about winning. Look, don't, bet, don't, bet. don't fuel my boy Damian Lillard here because that's money. I respect money Dame. Deal. I'm not betting. I'm betting against Channing, not Dame. <laughs> Which means he's betting against Dame. Chanae, who are you rolling with as Channing decides if he wants to take that bet? <laughs> I'll give you two to one, Channing. I'll give you two to one. If if well, they make Chine. if they oh, wait, wait a second, Chanae. <laughs> if they make it to the conference finals, I'll pay you two grand. You pay me one. Two to one. No, because wow. I don't want to no, put the betting whammy on. I don't want to put the so betting whammy. But we'll have a podcast <laughs> when they get there. No. Oh. And the whole time, I'm going to put on and, my foot. Oh, my God. Again. Wait, can we do, like, something like you have to shave your eyebrows off or something? <laughs> yeah, girl. I got, That's I the only hair I podcast. have on my head. I can't shave the only hair I have on my head. <laughs> I can't do that. But I thought you were confident, Richard. I'm extremely confident. <laughs> Get it together. Get it together. Get it together. Get it together. Janae. <laughs> okay. Are you Nick. rethinking your decision to have them on your radio I'm show? I'm like crying here. <laughs> yes. Um, I believe the champion is going to be the city of Los Angeles. Oh, that's an ignorant. Smart that's one. an she ignorant statement, and I will not that. accept that. that uh, no, 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 no. Yeah, that, 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 oh. Cheers. Cheers. We love you. Cheers. You're amazing. Love you. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you so much for coming Cheers. on. Cheers. Appreciate y'all. God, I'm out. So smart. I gotta go. I gotta go. <laughs> Channing, Janae, you're you're, you're chicken. That's weak, this dog. So That's fun. weak. This is I'm disappointed. Out, uh, I gave you two one to one. Even two to Lakers. one. Let's go. Five hundred. Five hundred yeah, to a thousand. Five hundred. The Blazers beat the Lakers in a series. Channing, you're saying you're going against Braun? 
the MVP. Yeah. Yeah, that's why I got to go. I got to go. Yeah. I just put it this way. I, look, the Blazers are coming. No, I don't want to hear an explanation. Momentum. I don't want to hear any more of your hate.